my name is Ara Emanuela Tukuda and I am an experimental storyteller. I entered into the Afrofuturism campaign because I love what it signifies, which is the transcendence of the African culture. It is advancement without letting go of the cultural roots, all the while addressing the issues within the Afro community. Hello everyone, my name is Jibril Drame. I'm a visual artist, photographer, filmmaker, curator. I do a bunch of stuff I'm from Senegal, West Africa. Um, I'm 30 years old and I've been doing photography for over 12 years now. Hello everyone, my name is Alexis Tigba and I'm a self-taught artist and photographer from Benue State, Nigeria. I've recently completed a master's degree program from the University of Warwick in Creative and Media Enterprises. Some of my most recent works are digital collages that often feature photographs of people taken from my home country, Nigeria. Um, my work attempts to document everyday people from the African continent and our relationship with nature, culture and technology in an attempt to form an understanding of what the future holds for us as a people. I entered the Afrofuturism campaign because I'd like to challenge the perception of Africa as a continent that is incapable, incapable of moving itself forward. And we are an independent people, rich with resources and with the right technology. I believe that we're more than capable of telling our own stories. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the exhibition. Bye. Hi, guys. My name is Eli Shong. I'm a photographer from Ghana. I joined the Afrofuturism campaign because I believe that as Africans, futurism comes to us naturally. If you think about the ancient pyramids of Giza and the other great inventions by our forefathers. I think futurism is part and parcel of our lives. I joined this campaign because I wanted to collaborate with other African creatives to create art that shows us the future, what Africa could be like in the future and the great potential that she holds. Hi, my name is Ruche Boyson and I'm from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. I entered the Afrofuturism campaign because I believe the time for Africa to dictate its own image is right now. The time for Africa to tell its own stories is now. The time for Africa to show the world its own images is right now. Hi guys, my name is Alois Cheba. I'm a photographer based in Nairobi, Kenya. My reason of uh, me being part of this uh, campaign uh, for futurism, I think it's, um, it's a movement, it's a campaign that's giving Africa a new and unique identity. It allows us black artists to tell narratives based on our own understanding, based on our own originality, rather than uh, the way they were told back in the days by the Western culture. Afrofuturism pays homage to black history and uh, black identity, so being part of that campaign is awesome. Hi, I'm Nina Zumlong, a people photographer based in Cape Town. I just want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of the Afrofuturism campaign. Uh, my work is usually inspired by locations, colors and people that I shoot. When I saw this campaign, I I thought I had to send through my work because I was already influenced by Afrofuturism and I feel like it is such a beautiful movement and I'm so glad to be a part of this campaign. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see everyone at the exhibition and thank you so much for all the support. Hey, hey everyone, what's up? My name is Ellie, but you can call me by my initials Akim, A-K-E-M. And I'm actually from right here Ivory Coast, West Africa, but I'm reaching you from my homemade studio in the state of Maryland in the United States of America. I do photography as a passion and as a mission to elevate African women in society, black body appreciation, and bring forth every rich aspect of our rich African heritage. I participated to the campaign because it is time for us as African to bring Africa to the future. It's time to show the world how us as African, we see the world of sci-fi and the future. Let's create art, let's create magic, and let's keep the ball rolling. Thank you. Hey guys, 
Um, I joined the Afrofuturism campaign because I think Africans should get together and create more. And I definitely think Africa should try and do things looking into the future more instead of focusing on now and reaping the benefits of now because we have so much. Um, but if we treat it like um, nothing, we're not going to have anything in our future. So for me, Afrofuturism means um, you know, this generation standing together and kind of working towards building a better future for Africa. Anyway. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan from Merva. I'm from uh, Durban, South Africa. Uh, Afrofuturism to me was all about creating more of an abstract theme shoot, um, trying to stray far away from any political views on the matter and just keep it light hearted fun, playful, try to fill up as much emotion in these images as possibly can. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Peace. Hi, my name is Kavaya Shigal. I was working with AJ on the Lotus and Her Lion project in terms of scripting the story that is behind it. So Lotus and Her Lion is a project that was aimed at celebrating our African and most importantly our Kenyan history in terms of uh, the Mau Mau freedom fighters passing down the spear to a younger, more enlightened generation. So we combined all of this with elements of fantasy, fiction, magic, and came up with this beautiful story that expresses uh, themes in enlightenment in Africa, the dawn of a new age, the breakage of patriarchal bonds, and most importantly, the strength that comes with fighting with our minds instead of our bodies. Thank you again for selecting us to be part of this Afrofuturistic movement. God bless you. Hi there, my name is Tushan Aidu. I am a photographer based in Johannesburg at the moment. I originally created my career in Cape Town and moved to Johannesburg about two months ago. I have created this Afrofuturism art piece um, in an attempt to explain more about Afrofuturism itself from an African perspective. A lot of the Afrofuturism that we've got overseas and everywhere else is very much Afrofuturism based on just a sci-fi take of an Afropunk kind of era, which is beautiful in itself, but I wanted to come more from a angle of what it means culturally as an African um, to have Afrofuturism. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the pieces and enjoy the work. Uh, I will be down in Cape Town later this month and um, I'll be hoping to see you guys at the exhibition. Um, all the best and enjoy. My name is Isaiah Maranga and I'm an artist and photographer from Kenya. And the reason why I decided to participate in the Afrofuturism campaign is because the fact that one is very aligned to African matters, the fact that the campaign is trying to really advocate for African artists being out there and bringing the genius and the best in their art. And the Afrofuturism uh, idea on its own, it's an exciting idea. It's something that I think any artist out there would like to be associated with because Africa is the future. It is the future of technology, it is the future of education, it is the future of good economies, it is the future of everything that is great that you can think about in this 